overcome this crisis is the serenity prayer which was given to me about 40 years ago by Dr. Norman Vincent Peale, the man who wrote the book Power of Positive Thinking. He was addressing close to a thousand people. As he came in, he said, you people look so comfortable, calm, relaxed. It seems nobody has a problem. And then he asked, does anybody have a problem? So everybody raised their hand. Of course, everybody has a problem. Then he said, how many people would like to get rid of their problems? Again, everybody raised their hand. Then he said, on my way here to this congregation, I came across a place and I saw there were some people lying there, relaxed, totally stretched out. They had no problem. How many people would like to know where that place is? Then he said, two blocks away from here, there is a cemetery. I saw there were some people lying there, relaxed, all stretched out. They had no problem. How many people would like to get rid of the problem? Nobody raised their hand. Everybody put their hand in the pocket. Then Dr. Peel said, he said, problem is a sign of life. And so long as we are alive, we shall have problems. The day we don't have problems, we'd be dead. Then he said, we cannot solve all our problems, but we can handle them. And then he gave the serenity prayer, which I've been practicing for the last 45 years. And I have not left my home without the prayer. And the, here it is. It says, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change and courage to change the things that I can and wisdom to know the difference, what I can and what I cannot. Now, folks, if you analyze and dissect this little prayer, God grant me the serenity to accept the things that I cannot change. Now, there are some things beyond. Everything is not in our control in life. I didn't choose my parents, neither did you. I didn't decide where I was going to be born, neither did you. If this is my height and this is the color of my skin, there's nothing I can do. And granted, sometimes people are born deformed. What wrong did they do? And sometimes good things, bad things happen to good people for no fault of their own. What wrong did they do? Who knows? Now, many times in life, we keep fighting the things we just cannot change and we bring stress into our lives and we become unproductive. And then he said, if I can change, then give me the courage to do it and wisdom to know what I can and what I cannot. See, folks, when I wrote my book, you can win and you can achieve more. I took this thought one step further and I wrote in that life is full of choices and life is full of compromises. Seems like a contradiction, but not really. See, how is life full of choices? If I ill treat you, I've chosen to be ill treated, haven't I? If I treat you with discourtesy, I've chosen to be treated with discourtesy, haven't I? If I light up a cigarette, I've chosen to invite cancer, haven't I? If I drink and drive, I've chosen to invite an accident, haven't I? If I live in unhygienic conditions and I practice unhygienic practices, and I go into unsanitary conditions, I've chosen to invite the virus, haven't I? Now, folks, keep in mind, we are all free to the point of choice. But after we make our choices, choice controls the chooser. We have no more choice. Now, how is life full of compromises? As somebody said, well, in life, we cannot choose the cards that are dealt to us. What we can choose is how we play the game. And sometimes nature gives us a lemon. The choice is ours. Do we cry or do we make lemonade? Now, what is success? Series of positive choices in life is called success. And series of negative choices in life is called failure. That's about it. It's that simple. Now, sometimes people ask me, People who are successful, don't they make mistakes in life? And people who are failures, don't they do something positive in life? And my answer is, look, people who are successful, they do make mistakes. But making a mistake once in a while does not make a person a failure. Repeating the same mistake again and again is what makes a person a failure. And doing something positive once in a while does not bring success. It is repeating the same positive behavior again and again is what brings success. Folks, the only thing I can make is uh, at this time of crisis, we have to make some choices. How do we utilize this down 
time. This is downtime. If during this downtime period, if we do not come out upskilled, or if we do not come out more knowledgeable, and if we do not come out healthier and fitter, then it is not because we lack time, but we lack, we lack self-discipline and we lack commitment. This is time to use this time productive for you can get a head start. The moment the crisis is over, you'll get a jump start in life. God bless you. Thank you very much.